but leadership is what we need. Those who will stick their neck out, say what needs to be said, give other people the courage to do what we need to do to carry on looking after each other and create a better world. And some leaders are better than other leaders for sticking their neck out and making sure that we fight the good fight. Mark Sawatka. Thank you very much. Can I, uh, can I start by saying what a privilege it is for me to take the stage after our junior doctors have just spoken. Because this time last year, I had heart life-saving surgery. I'm waiting for a heart transplant. And that's what this thing around my neck that currently keeps me alive. Now, do you know what? Who kept me alive? Our doctors, our nurses, our NHS staff, and it was, do you know, it was a surgeon from China, a cardiologist from India, and doctors and nurses and ancillary staff from all parts of the globe. So do you know what? I more than anyone hope that you will make the most massive roar to say refugees and migrants are welcome in our country. And you know, We should be proud that people come to this country and play such an important role. Now, you know, during Jeremy Corbyn's election campaign, Tony Blair went on the telly and he said anyone who supported Jeremy Corbyn should get a heart transplant. Well, listen, as somebody who needs a heart transplant, I want Blair to know that I wanted Jeremy Corbyn to win before and I'm glad he's won, and I'll be still wanting him to win after my heart transplant. So, for someone who would have been more at home at the Tory party conference, don't give us any lectures about what we need in this country. Now, this march has been brilliant, but I want to tell you a little story. I was proud of the head of our march that we had PCS members from the National Gallery. Now I hope you all know the National Gallery have been on strike for 110 days. Low paid public sector workers striking against privatization and the disgraceful sacking of our lead steward Candy Endwin. And you know there are some people who tell us strikes can never win. Well they're going back to work on Monday and what they're going back to work with is the London living wage a guarantee that no terms and conditions can be eroded. And wait for this, after nine months sacked, Candy Edwin will be leading them back into work because she's got her job back. Now, isn't that, isn't that why we get involved in these movements? Because we know it's right, we know it's just, but bloody hell, when we get some victories, we should celebrate them. And I want to make this plea to everyone, and particularly to the leaders of the TUC. I, like Matt Rack, sit on the TUC General Council. And in PCS in the last nine months, we've had some very important strikes in the Scottish and Welsh Museums, in the DDLA, in the Research Councils, the DWP and the National Gallery. And we've won some real fabulous outcomes. But you know, if we can win as one union on its own, Imagine what we'd all win if every union went on strike together and said we've had enough. And, and some people tell us all oh, that's far-fetched. Well, the TUC carried a policy last month unanimously to say on public sector pay, we should all strike together. And just imagine this, junior doctors, nurses, teachers, council workers, civil servants, all parts of the public sector. If we went on strike together, they could stuff their bloody 1%, their tax credit freezes, because we could win so much more. And if we started winning, perhaps then, you know, people could see us winning on other things. Why are there homeless people in Manchester? Why are people having their benefits sanctioned when they need help when they're at their most vulnerable? Why are the rich people not paying their taxes? Why is our NHS being privatised? Why do we live in such an unequal country? 
You know, it doesn't have to be this way. And our march today, and marching in our communities, and supporting our campaigns, and yes, going on strike together, another world is possible and we can make it happen. So I want to I wanna finish this, really. I've been saying for quite a few years now that it is the trade unions in this country that in reality are the opposition to the government. But isn't it great that we've now got a Labour leader and a shadow chancellor who are starting to say publicly in Parliament what we've been saying for years. And, you know, Jeremy Corbyn, in his first public speech, what did he do? He paid tribute to the strikers at the National Gallery. When Ed Miliband was leader and we went on strike, he looked at his shoes and shuffled around in embarrassment because strikers embarrassed them. Jeremy and John have supported every campaign and every dispute that we've had. So now is our moment to say we know that Jeremy and John and others, they aren't going to change everything through Parliament. There isn't an election due for another four years. We can change things now by resisting what the Tories are doing. But the difference is this time, that when we march, when we strike, when we occupy, we'll have the leader of the Labour Party supporting us in Parliament, and that's going to be a really important thing. So, my last, my last few words, because I've promised not to mention Wales and England at the rugby, my last few words are simply this. Jeremy needs to know something. He needs to know it from me and my union and all of you, that we absolutely support him when we say, no nuclear weapons, invest the money in our public services. And John, John McDonald needs to know that when he says Vodafone, Starbucks and all the other scroungers who don't pay their tax, he wants them to pay their tax, we should say, we want you to pay your tax and give us the jobs and we'll chase every last one of you down till you've paid what you owe. So, as the sun goes down in Manchester tonight, Let's just think about what keeps us going. Houses for people who need them, decent social security, jobs, proper education, NHS staff properly looked after with decent funding and not frightened with privatisation. Where no one passes over on the other side of the road, where we recognise we are the many, they are the few. Our time has come and let's make sure we stop them with their austerity. Greetings comrades, have a great day. Fantastic, Mark Zawatka, and.